Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration Channel. For those of you new, my name is Barry. Today, motivated by a video that I saw the other night from Technical Brad. Technical Brad split his tractor. And as he split his tractor, I did notice the bearing carrier between the gearbox and the bell housing. And it triggered a memory in mine, and a memory that had just gone completely till I saw that image on the screen. So first of all, we're going to investigate that bearing carrier, see if it's a source for one of the potential leaks that we've got coming out of the little the inspection hatch at the bottom of the bell housing. It's tiny little drip, and initially I did think that it was the bearing, the sorry, the um, crankshaft seal bearing that was leaking because it's rope. Um, however, I'm not convinced. We're going to do a bit of investigation. We've got the uh, Got the end of scope boot today. We're going to have a bit poke around in little holes, see if we can solve a few problems. We're also going to whip a few nuts and bolts out, get them a wire brush because they have gone rusty. We're sitting next door and not having the, the TLC that it really needs. They should have been painted, but we ran out of uh, primer, didn't we? And I don't want to buy um, was it a litre tin of primer to open it just to paint a few nuts and bolts to have it go off in the tin because I think the awkward white's gone off. It's that's 25 30 quid a tin, you know. It gets to the point where it's too expensive for to do little bits and pieces. I might just go and get a rattle can, clean them with a rattle can, right? Let's crack on. I've got a basket full of spare parts here, and I've got a England. The bit that I want to look at is in that basket. Let's get the basket out, get it on the bench. God, this. Oh my God, this is a ton weight. Ah. Ah. Right, I think the part I want is in here. So let's have a look. There's spare parts in here, there's excess parts in here, and there's bits like that, which is the diff lock, which has got to go in yet. And it will be going in when we get some weather good enough to be able to split the tractor again. Because I did tell you, didn't I? The video series will go on. It is simply a case of uh, just time. Right, I think this is the bit that I'm after. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. So we've got here spare clutch to gearbox shaft, muff shaft, or muff coupling. And this is the bit here. This is the bearing carrier for the shaft go the sits on the shaft like that. This is where the wall is between the gearbox and bell housing. Your clutch release bearing floats up and down on here and it's stopped rotating by this key. The bit I want to show you is this. This is inside the gearbox. This is where your bearing sits. So I've got a bearing that fits in there, two ticks. Get my bearing. If you pull the clip out, the bearing sits in there. Pops in, clip goes in behind it, keep it in place. Shaft fits through it. Down inside here, there is a drain hole there. And that drain hole comes forward out of here. This is in the bell housing. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to pop next door. We're going to put the endoscope up inside the bell housing because we can get it this end quite easily. And we're going to have a look and see if there's any oil, traces of oil leaking out past that tiny little hole that's in there. Could that be the source of our oil leak or is it indeed 
looking at the crank case seal, which is a rope, and I've never liked rope seals. They are very effective when they're working properly, but um, right, let's get into our garage. I've made things a bit easier, I've had a bit of a shuffle. Everything behind the tractor in there now is on wheels, so it can get shifted quite quickly and easily. Moving the tractor around, not a problem anymore. Okay, let's get next door to the endoscope. Get up underneath it and see we'll find that hole underneath any traces of oil. Right, let's go and put the endoscope up through the clutch housing and let's see if we can find that hole. See if we've got any oil leaks. Fingers crossed. So the plan is, we're going to go up through here and have a look up there and see if we can see this hole. Let's get this. I hope to God this is recording. That's the collar there. Aha, right, wait a minute. There it is, there's the hole there, next to that red paint, there, there, that's the hole. So that wasn't as successful as I thought, couldn't find that hole. I found what I think could be it, but I'm not sure, we'll have a look on the, the endoscope when we get inside. So what I did was, I then took the starter motor out because I thought that I could get in behind the flywheel down to the crankshaft seal carrier. Um, again, show you the videos that we've got on the endoscope. Not very good, but we couldn't get the camera past the flywheel and in. But you can see the carrier. However, I did find one little leak. That might be my problem. Have a look at this. Took a starter motor out. What I found was a little pool of oil here, engine oil, and it's still, you see it, round those bolts, and it was creeping out of this corner here, out of the covers. Now I had a one there, I had a one there previously, and I tightened them up. But it looks like they're going to have to come off again, doesn't it? And get another Titan. It's amazing what you find when you start looking, isn't it? So, well, list the jobs. It's just increased slightly. So we found a hole. We didn't find the leak war after. And I couldn't. I thought I might have been able to get the end of the endoscope up behind the flywheel to check the uh, the flywheel, the, the crankshaft seal. But you cannot, you, not from the bottom anyway. So we might end up having to do what Brad's done, but we'll do that when we're gonna split the tractor. Um, uh, again, looking around in there, there wasn't an awful lot of evidence of a lot of oil kicking around in there. So it doesn't look like it's coming from the crankshaft seal forward on the flywheel and getting sprayed all over the place. That's not there. So we need the weather to improve so we can get it outside, split it on the driveway and attend to that crankshaft seal. Which means ordering the rope and everything before we take the bits because you just need it to go back together as quick as possible. Right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for visiting. As always, your time is greatly appreciated when you come tinkering with us in my garage, even if we're just messing about trying to find leaks and cure headaches, because it was, that was bugging me, wondering what was going on there. Why, why would that hole drain forward 
from the gearbox when you go to all the trouble of sealing that bearing mount with an o-ring and gaskets i just i don't if anyone knows please drop a comment let us know why that why it does that <sighs> remember don't overthink it it's only nuts and bolts and we'll catch you in the next one ta now